Thanks for tuning in for our coverage of the 2024 World Crokinole Championship. We are down to the semi-final stage, and in this match, Andrew Hutchinson and Josh Carafiello will play out a rematch of their finals match at the 2024 Chatham Tournament for a spot in the World Championship Final. Andrew Hutchinson looking to get back there for the second year in a row. Josh Carafiello in his first fingers attempt looking to make it all the way to the game's biggest stage. He starts off with an open 20 and Hutchinson responds in turn. I expect we'll see quite a lot of that out of this match. Both these players are fine open 20 scorers. It may well be the strength of both players' games. Carafiello knocks it down for a 3-2 advantage. Hutchinson levels up. Both players are good through their first three shots, and Carafiello there is the first to miss. So an advantage here to Hutchinson with the hammer. But he can't convert on that hanger 20. So Carafiello now will slide over to the right and looking to get both the takeout and the 20 here, I'm sure. That's a good shot for the 20, but you saw it on his face. He's disappointed not to get the takeout. Hutchinson now punishes the small mistake from Carafiello. Now he will need to peel. Oh, but he missed the shot clean. So the advantage is increasing for Hutchinson. Maybe a bit of nerves there. He scores the open 20 to go 5-4 in front. A good peel by Carafiello, but Hutchinson has already guaranteed himself a point the way this is shaking out, and that makes it two. So after these last two shots, it will be two points to none for Andrew Hutchinson. Let's see, there was really one big highlight out of that round, and it was close, but not close enough for Carafiello. Again, the, uh, the expression there showed it all. Hutchinson starts out the second round with an open 20 as well. And Carafiello is right there with him. The first mistake, though, comes from Hutchinson. He was so good with his open 20s in the first round. Carafiello will look to pounce. But just like the previous round, where Hutchinson missed on a hanger 20 conversion, this time it's Carafiello to miss, and this is a much easier hanger chance for Hutchinson which he nails. 2-1 to him and we're back on serve. As the TVO cameras slide in behind Hutchinson, Carafiello gives the miss. Opportunity for Hutchinson to create a lead here, which he gets. Very nicely taken there. He's up 3-1. to one. Carafiello gets back in the 20s game, but he will need a miss from his opponent. He checks on the scores and Hutchinson drops that one to maintain his 2-20 edge. Carfiello cuts back in at 4-3 now. Still, the pressure very much on Hutchinson here to maintain. If he gives up a miss, he could lose his advantage in a, in a single shot. Hutchinson, though, has this for a point, which he gets. It goes in a little bit through the side, but, uh, but it counts just as much as any other. And now Hutchinson to seal this round off for a two-point steal. He gets it. Seven twenties in back-to-back -back rounds to open up this match for Andrew Hutchinson. That is some strong shooting. Two takeout twenties in that round made by Andrew Hutchinson, and they look pretty similar. I'd be curious to see an overlay there. They were borderline identical. Carfiello now starting us off. Hutchinson on the hammer just a point away from taking the first game of this match. He just gets that one to go. Carfiello starting to find some 20 rhythm now. Hutchinson scores it for 2-2 as some applause comes in from the other board. Again, very solid open 20 shooters, both of these players, as again we are to 3-3. Now halfway through the round, perfect. This has been, again, just very solid shooting from both players. Now 5-5. Five, five. If, this, if this result holds, it will be great for Hutchinson. All he needs, again, is a tie in either this round or the next to win game one. And he doesn't seem like giving up a miss right now. 6-6 six, six in the 20s. Carfiello makes it 7-6. Andrew Hutchinson now. 
gets that one straight in. Seven all. Last shots each. Carafiello scores it. A perfect round for him in the World Championship semifinal. Andrew Hutchinson, though, to win game one. Takes a quizzical look at that disc. And misses just wide. So Carafiello steals right back with a perfect round. Great shooting from both of these players. This has been not more than a mistake or two from either player in any of these rounds. The standard of play has been very high. As, as expected, the players score their first open 20s. Hutchinson maybe overhit that a fraction, but it caught enough and dropped. Carfiello has to take a second there. Something may have been in his eye line distracting him. And it held on there as he misses that one just to the left as he shot it. Hutchinson now with an opportunity to play with some discs on the board. Surely looking for a roll away here to the left. And that looks like a really nice one, jammed right up in front of that peg. Carfiello will have to negotiate this well. He may go for a bounce back 20 here if he sees it. That's what he was going for, but just didn't have the line and probably too much weight. If those come in with uh, with any any bit more pace than they need, they'll really likely bounce out. Tough situation now for Carafiello, facing two discs and down a 20. He does need a pretty good result here. Tries to come in, and the line was nice there, but uh, but not enough. If Hutchinson just sticks this, there may be a double opportunity. No, that's placed really nicely there. Not really a double chance. Garfiello was pushing for quite a bit there, but uh, winds up in not much of a different situation than he was in before. I wonder if Hutchinson might just peel this. No, he, he leaves it on. Again, still making uh, making Carafiello do quite a lot of work here. He needs both off. He needs a 20 to even have a fighting chance. A 20 would be great, but it doesn't go. So Andrew Hutchinson with a 20 here could all but seal this first game. In fact, it would seal this first game. All Carafiello could do would, score, would be to score two 20s, which would only tie the round. And with that shot, that's going to be just about all of it. So Andrew Hutchinson, after giving up the steal to that perfect round, makes it right back and wins game one of the World Championship semifinals, six points to two. And it really did all come from that one defensive play, really perfectly placed there. Now the players will take some warm-up shots in advance of game two. The pressure is all the way on for these two players. They are both very, very skilled. Both, these are actually the last two Ontario singles champions. Carafiello beat Andrew Hutchinson in the 2023 final, and Hutchinson was victorious over Justin Slater in this year's final, just a month prior to this event. And in game two, Carafiello with the red discs now is the first to miss. That one just a little overhit bounces out. Hutchinson eyeing up a takeout 20, but it doesn't go. Left at least a little bit awkward. Garfiello will have to slide over to his weak side and make this. And he gets it. That's a really nice shot. Again, with all the pressure, the cameras, the lights. To pull that shot out shows real nerve from Garfiello. Back to the open 20s, and Hutchinson misses. He has had the better of the open 20 races in this match so far. But now he'll have to play from behind. I'm not sure what Hutchinson's play was with that shot. I'm not sure if he was trying to just stick back. I think so. Or if he was going for it. But that's a really, really nice roll from Carafiello out into the five. Hutchinson will think about this, but not really a prayer of getting it back, so he has to peel. Carafiello has an extra shot, and we're tied in the 20s in the first round of game two. But Carafiello comes up short, a chance for Hutchinson to get back into it. This might be close enough, I'm not sure. Opportunity, though, 
and he hit it much too square. I think that may have fallen in, fall, fallen in if he hit it just right, but he didn't. Garfiello now examining, trying to find the best way to remove this. If he takes it from the straight-on gap, there's a chance he leaves an easier takeout 20 opportunity. So Garfiello goes for the safe takeout from the left and leaves probably only a touch 20 if he wants to go through the middle. Hutchinson is going to have to play for the follow-through, and this is a long one. Oh, it catches a peg on the way in. So at least a slightly tricky leave. That peg could get into Carafiello's head. But it does not. He sticks it for the first two points of game two. And the shot that really got Carafiello back into it after an early deficit, that was a big one on the left side. Carafiello scores the opening 20 in round two. And Hutchinson is right there with him. After the prodigious 20 scoring of the first game, it's nice to see a little bit more play on the board, and Hutchinson gives up the first miss again. So advantage to Carafiello. And he will need to play shrewdly, and that's a really good rollout. Opportunity, though, to bring this back off of a peg. Oh, caught it too thin. And even, I might say, a little bit under hit. Decent roll from Carafiello. This, eh, there might be a chance here for Hutchinson to squeak this in. And a really nice takeout 20 from him. Tied up in the cup, but that disc on in the 5 from Hutchinson's previous shot may haunt him here. Carafiello, if he can score this 20, he will maintain a strong advantage, which he does. That is really steely stuff there. Hutchinson again forced to peel. In the mirror situation to the previous round. Three shots left each, and Carafiello has a 20 lead already. Make it two. He is close to gaining a winning advantage here. This is for a point, and it goes. Carafiello leads by two with two Hutchinson shots to go. And now this, for Josh Carafiello, to win the second round, goes in. Very well taken. A really well-played round, I'd say, by Josh Carafiello there to hold on to advantages. This was a beautiful play by Hutchinson to come in and score that 20. That was so thin. He had to play that really perfectly, not just for angle, but for weight as well. Hutchinson now trying to find a foothold in game two. Starts us off with a 20. Carafiello is there for the response. And that one again, Hutchinson just gave a little look there. He feels he may have overhit that, I think. And Garofiello thinks he may have underhit that one, but they both went just the same. The first miss again for all three games, or all three rounds in this game so far. The first miss has come from Hutchinson. His open 20 dominance in the first round, or in game one, has not quite translated here, but that is a disappointing miss from Carofiello. Hutchinson gets us back on serve. He's up 3-2 to two without the hammer. And the mistake comes from Carafiello now. So an opportunity for Hutchinson now. He may be able to get that steal right back. Oh, he's worried about that one. I don't know if it's close enough. Carafiello doesn't seem convinced. He's really taking his time eyeing this one up. It could be there. Oh, not, not to be... So this is a beautiful situation for Hutchinson. He sits two discs on his side of the board, up a 20 without hammer. He stands every chance now to make his way back into this second game. He'll now look for a rollout in the other direction. He does have two discs split on the board. This is a classic winning formula. Garfiello will try to make something happen here. It doesn't go. So if Hutchinson can secure the takeout, he will guarantee one point, but he needs two to stay alive in the game. All he has to do is not leave a double takeout 20 opportunity. He's thinking very carefully about this one, 
and takes that through a tricky angle. But well made by Hutchinson. He's guaranteed himself one point, and it would take a minor miracle from Carafiello to force him to that tie. He's lining this one up. What does he see? Puts a lot of power behind it, but it is two points stolen right back by Andrew Hutchinson. Four to two for Carafiello. He's still a point away from sending us to a decider. Carfiello nails the open 20 to begin. Hutchinson level to the response. He's going to need a few more of those if he wants a chance to stay alive in game two. And that one wobbles but stays up. So for the fourth time in as many rounds here in game two, Hutchinson has missed first. Last round, he was able to bring it back. Can he do it this time? Chance here maybe to leave this one tough between the pegs. Oh, Hutchinson loses the shooter, not what he wanted to see there. And Carafiello with a 20 lead on level shots. Oh my goodness, that one just sitting up before the hole. So a chance for Hutchinson. Score the 20 and get back into the round. Missed it left. Carfiello let off the hook. And good solid positional play there. Hutchinson will surely be looking off a peg. Catches a couple of them, but too close to the hole for comfort. Opportunity for a takeout 20 here for Carfiello that would be huge. No takeout, but the 20 scored is enormous. Players check on the 20 scores. Hutchinson needs this and gets it. Now, Carafiello can leave this tricky. He has left an opening. Hutchinson needs this to go for an angle in 20. And he will certainly be going for it. And just off on the line. A little bit too full. Carafiello, all he needs to do is remove the black disc and he wins game two. If he gets rid of that black disc, all that Hutchinson could do would be to score a 20 and tie us up at 3, which would give Carfiello the point he needs to win the game. So just remove the black disc, which he doesn't do! He scores the 20 for Hutchinson! Oh my goodness, what a miss! So Andrew Hutchinson now just suddenly needs a takeout out of nowhere to force a decider. Very well taken by Hutchinson. That was an astonishing miss by Carafiello, especially knowing the circumstances. And we are headed to a fifth round tiebreaker. What a comeback by Hutchinson. And now he is within a round of making it to the World Championship Final for the second year in a row. Carafiello needs to hold his nerve after that miss. Hutchinson misses first again. Early in the round. Of course, you'd rather miss early than late, but you'd rather not miss at all. Hutchinson, after that lovely rollout, will try to carve this back, and it's fortunate that that caught that peg. Carfiello should be able to stick nicely, and does, actually. Moves that pretty close to that peg, which means this is very difficult for Hutchinson, and he jams it. Loses his shooter. An open 20 opportunity for Carfiello as he... Checks with the TVO cameras behind him. This is a huge shot. And Carafiello nails it. He is up a 20 with the hammer in this winner-take-all round. Game 2 hangs in the balance, but Hutchinson needs to make something big. I didn't see any real bounces off a peg. It was going to be difficult to make that bounce anyway, and Hutchinson loses his shooter. Carafiello barely gets that one to go through the side door. Hutchinson needs every 20 he can muster here. He barely has winning chances, and now he does not. He scores that one. Carafiello can put it away officially here, which he does. Great shooting from Josh Carafiello under pressure, especially after what happened in that fourth round, and he has forced a third and deciding game. What a match so far between these two players. And this may not look like a supreme highlight, 
but that really guaranteed Garafiello's advantage. The players will switch sides for what promises to be another tense game. Game three of the World Championship semi-final, a spot in a spot on Crokinole's biggest stage is at stake here. Andrew Hutchinson again is looking to get back for the second year in a row, and Josh Carafiello is looking to get there for the first time. Carafiello will start us off here in game three, and he does so with a 20. Hutchinson misses first again. But that roll away doesn't go far enough. This is tricky though to get the takeout as well as the 20. You could get either of them individually fairly easily, but maybe not both. Hutchinson slams that right in my face though and nails that takeout 20. Really well taken. Carfiello gives the miss. So, advantage now swinging back to Hutchinson. A seesawing match has yielded a seesawing game. And Hutchinson is unsure about the best way to go about this shot. That disc must have been dead centered. And that is an unlucky roll away attempt that has left a takeout 20 chance for Carfiello, on which he does not miss. Hutchinson needs to answer with an open 20. And the lead swings back again. Another advantage to Carfiello this time with a big chance to take a big lead. Takeout 20 opportunity from the left. Oh my goodness, a piece of good fortune, and you could see it on his face yet again. That was not the way he wanted to score the 20, but he will take them any way they come. Carfiello back to the open 20s unfazed. Hutchinson keeping pace, but he trails by one with two shots left each. Carfiello just gets that one up there to guarantee a point. Hutchinson is there for 5-4, but this is to make it a full steal. Yes, it goes. Six twenties to four. Hutchinson with his last shot will unfortunately be leaving it there. A really nice angle in from him, but a good takeout 20 from Carafiello and that stroke of good fortune that gave him the advantage. Hutchinson starts out round two as he needs to with some strong open 20 form. Carafiello misses again. Both players seemingly feeling the pressure of this intense stage. Hutchinson pushing, I think, for the follow-through there, seeing that uh, some of his defensive rollaways haven't been uh, haven't been clicking as much as he would like them to. As you see the crowd assembled behind this match, this has really gathered some attention. The other semi-final finished. A while back, good touch from Carafiello there to tie us up at one. Hutchinson, though, still with an advantage with that disc on the board. If he can score the open 20, he'll have a clear lead. Yes, it goes. Only just. I think Hutchinson celebrated maybe a little early on that, uh, on that open 20, but it did eventually go. The miss just long from Hutchinson leaves an opening, though, for Carafiello. As we approach the midway point of round two, Carfiello looks for a way to produce a 20 out of this. He'll need, he'll need a really nice follow through here. Oh, a tough bounce off the hole. The black disc was never going in, but now Hutchinson is left with an awkward position. He would really love to move that red disc that's in play. You'd love for that to not be sitting there for Carfiello's next shot. But it may be difficult to not leave anything. Oh, what a try from Hutchinson, but it doesn't go. That is as good as as good as moving that red disc, though, as it leaves no easy 20 chance for Carfiello. Four shots left for him, three for Hutchinson. Is he eyeing up the double here, maybe? He doesn't like it, but it could go. Not quite. Too thin on one and not straight enough for the double. The easy line for a 20 is probably blocked by that red disc, but maybe it's still there. For a nice takeout and roll away, Hutchinson in a really good spot now with two discs welded to pegs on his side of the board. Up a 20. 
Garfiello went for the jam, but it wouldn't go. Some noise in the background <laughs> seemingly punctures the tension a little bit for these two players. <laughs> oh, to be a fly on the wall and know what they're saying. Great takeout by Hutchinson. Negotiates his own nicely, and that look again on Carfiello's face says it all. This is an unenviable position. Good push. But this will not be enough. Hutchinson just needs this takeout to all but secure it right here. That's it. A triple takeout 20 seemingly unlikely. Good shot to move them all. But Andrew Hutchinson has stolen right back. So this best of three games match has been reduced to the best of two rounds. Carafiello to start us off. Hutchinson on the hammer in this pivotal third round. Hutchinson missing long again, and again early on in this match, or in, a, in the round. A nice roll by Carfiello, but failing to get the takeout there could bite him. Lots of Crokinole left to play in this round, and Hutchinson maybe just peeled there. Maybe he wants to play on his side of the board. He's famously quite good at it. I think he'll be looking for a hide, but that rolls much too open. Hmm. The way this is positioned, there's there's no real hiding chance off of this. If he wants to keep playing, uh, playing possum, so to speak, he'll need to pull back for at least one more shot. I, I confess, I don't quite know what the plan was there. Carfiello makes the strong takeout, and there is definitely an angle-in chance here, and it looks like Hutchinson's going for it. If he goes in, he kind of needs to make it. This is a big shot, and in it goes. Huge takeout 20 for Hutchinson. Carfiello is right back there. Hutchinson keeps it tied up. Two 20s apiece. Two shots left apiece. Carfiello misses long. Opportunity for Hutchinson. If he can keep away, he will be in a great position. A pretty nice roll there by Hutchinson. This is a big moment in this match. Is there a takeout 20 available? I think it might just be too far back. But there's no sense in not going for it. Carfiello with his last. Makes the takeout 20. What a shot. What an absolutely wonderful shot. Andrew Hutchinson now needs this open 20 to secure a point from this round. If he makes this shot, it will be a winner-take-all round to follow on Josh Carfiello's hammer. Hutchinson. The big open 20, and he missed it wide. Oh, a huge opportunity, and what a shot from Carfiello that kept him in that round, and kind of in this match. Brilliant shot from him. Carfiello now is just a point away from his maiden appearance in a world championship final. Players make their first open 20s each. Oh, and Carfiello comes up a fraction short. Hutchinson up two 20s to one, would love a takeout 20 here, but he can't get it. Carfiello will be able to sit two discs on the board but lots of options for maneuvering for both players. Maybe he'll go for a 20 here instead. That's a pretty good bounce. Hutchinson will try to pull back off of this disc on the 10-15. Now maybe eyeing up the double. It's certainly safer to play for this single disc. He doesn't need anything desperate yet. Still lots of shots left in this round. Carfiello, more than happy just to hit and stick. I think they might be, they're lined up probably better for a double takeout now. A 
but Hutchinson tried to come back, and he has left a 20 chance. Carafiello down one needs this. He doesn't even need the takeout. He just needs to score the 20 since he has his other disc on the board. Huge shot. Josh Carafiello with another massive takeout 20. And now it's Andrew Hutchinson on the hot seat. And the brutal thing about this position is he could go perfect from this point out and still not win the match. Huge push from Hutchinson and the damage makes it just that much worse. 20 opportunity for Carfiello to give himself a massive advantage. Again, just needing a tie in this round. He doesn't get it. Hutchinson with an opportunity now. That was a little tricky from the left-hand side from Carfiello. He hangs his head knowing that an advantage may have slipped away. It's not permanent though. Hutchinson still needs to convert on this heavy hanger. Oh, and it's just off the line. Over hit, perhaps, but that was so close. Hutchinson narrowly missing the 20. Carafiello a chance to roll away. He doesn't. He scores the 20, and that will all but seal it. Andrew Hutchinson will need to make this 20, and he does, but just a takeout for Carafiello, and he has booked his spot in the World Championship Final. What a match between these two competitors. Andrew Hutchinson gracious in defeat, but it will be Josh Carafiello playing for the 2024 World Championship title. And that was a huge shot at the end. What a match this was between these two players. What excellent nerve shown by both. And a friendly exchange between the two. It will be Carafiello fighting for the world title. As we watch some highlights from that match. Uh, breathless at the end of it. What a contest. Some great shooting from both players. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you again for the finals of the World Championship.